can create letters and emails from within ACT in order to keep in touch with your contacts. In this video, I want to show you how to create a letter or email to send to one of the contacts in your ACT database. Let's say that I have a contact who asked me for a price list a while back but hasn't yet made a purchase. I'd like to offer them a 25% discount just to see if that will convert them into a customer. I want to send a promotional email to them that spells out the details of the offer. So to begin, I have to locate this contact. Now I know that they work at the company named Phoenix Ale Brewery. So I'm going to type in Phoenix Ale and click go. And I can see I have several different contacts, but the one that I'm looking for is Hope Sather. So I'm going to double click her name to access her detail view. On the notes tab for Hope, I can see that she was requesting a product list, oh, a couple months ago. So let's write a communication to her. I'm going to go to my right menu at the top, and then I'm going to choose email message. Now because I previously set up Outlook to work with ACT, Outlook is going to open in the background, and I should see that I have a new email addressed to Hope. Let's give it a quick subject, and then in the body, I'm going to paste a message that I typed up earlier. Okay, once that's all done, I will click the Send button. And once it sends, I'm going to take a look at the contact record in ACT. If I go to my History tab, I can see that ACT automatically created a history record of this email, just in case I need to be reminded of it later on. Of course, this also works with traditional letters that you could print out and mail to your contacts. In this case, I would go to the right menu and then choose Letter. This is going to use the basic letter template from ACT and merge in the proper fields from the contact record into a word processing document like Microsoft Word. The document may open up behind ACT, so you might have to look for it in your taskbar at the bottom. Now here you can see the contact's name and address information has been merged into this letter. At the bottom is the name, title, and company information for the user who's currently logged into ACT and creating this letter. All that's left to do is type the body of the letter, print it out, and then send it off in the mail. But let me show you some additional options with the ACT add-in for Microsoft Word. First, I'm going to paste in some text that I saved earlier. And then I'll just clean up the formatting a little bit. And now that this letter is ready, I'm going to save it to my desktop by going to Save As, and I'll choose my desktop. I'm going to call this Letter to Hope, and I'll just add today's date at the bottom also. OK, have you noticed the ACT tab at the top of Microsoft Word? Let's click that to have a look. First, the Show Fields button lets me quickly add ACT fields to any of my ACT document template files. Since this document is not a template, I don't need to use this here, but I am going to cover this window in the videos for document templates later on. If I click Attach to ACT, I can now add this file to the Documents tab for any ACT contact. Make sure you save the Word file first, and then all you need to do is locate your contact, click them, and then click the right arrow button to move them into the selected column. When I click OK, I get a notification that the document has been attached. Now if I go back into ACT and under Hope's contact record, if I click the Documents tab, I can see now that this letter has been attached to her contact record in ACT. Let's go back to Word again and look at the next button, Record to History. This operates in a similar way, although this time it's going to attach this document to the History tab. But first, I need to put something in the Regarding field. So I'm going to type Discount Offer for Hope, and then click OK. Once again, I need to search for this contact and add her to the right column, and click OK. If I go back to ACT again, I can go to the History tab, and if I refresh this tab by hitting F5 on my keyboard, we can see that this attachment has been added to the History tab for Hope. Let's go back to Word one more time here. And this time I'm going to click Send Email. Now this will email this document to one or more contacts in ACT. 
and you can choose to email this document as an attachment, or you can choose to automatically copy the contents of the document into the body of the email. I'm gonna choose the second option just to see how that looks. For the subject line, I'll just type welcome to Cloudwalker, since that's my company's name. And now I'll click OK. And once again, I have to locate Hope, add her to the right column, and then click OK. Notice that the email has been sent successfully. I can verify this if I go to Outlook and click on Sent Items. I'll be able to see this email that was sent to her. Finally, I'll go to Word and click this last button, Print and Record. This is what you should use if you're going to print this letter and then mail it to the contact the old-fashioned way. That way you can still record this as a history record in ACT. So if I had a printer connected to this machine, I would simply print it out. But right now I'm going to print it to a PDF file. Once the print process is finished, we need to locate this contact again. Move her in the right column and click OK. And now you can choose whether to record history in ACT or not. I'm going to choose Yes, Record History. And then in the Regarding field, I'm going to type Discount Letter Sent to Hope. I'm also going to attach this letter as a document to the history of the contact. And when I click OK, I get a verification of that. And back in ACT, if I refresh my History tab one more time, here it is, Discount Letter Sent to Hope with the file added as an attachment. In the next video, I'm going to show you how you can perform a mail merge to send emails and letters to multiple contacts all at once.